All right, lessons learned about the JEG uh, engine stand. One, you're going to need to weld this whole thing up. Do not just bolt it together. When you do go to bolt it together, leave all of the bolts loose so that the holes will jiggle around so you can get them in because it's not a precise fit. If you tighten them down, you'll never get this thing together. Two, weld up all of it. Do not just rely on the bolts. Weld every single joint. Three, this is going to have lots of slop like you saw in my first video. You can see I got rid of all that slop by taking one of the washers that I didn't need anymore because I welded. I cut a notch in it and I stuck it right in front of the screw worm here, right in front of the washer that's next to the bearing because there is washer, bearing, washer. Another washer right here and as you can see, this thing is nice and tight now and get rid of these brass. They're crap. It broke off when I went to use my uh, grease gun. It fucked up my grease gun because it broke off and got stuck inside the tip of the grease gun. I took this out and just basically it was the same thread as the tip. Screwed in my grease gun and just squeezed the grease into it and turned it and pulled it back and forth. Make sure you check the tightness of the nut that holds this all together because mine was loose. And now this thing actually works nicely. So you can fix this thing and get it to work right. But, you know, you have to be willing to put in the time. But you can see no more jiggle jiggle. So that was my solution to fix this thing. After you do all that, she works just fine. She's nice and tight. She's toit. She's toit and welded, and she's not going to fall apart on you. So, weld. Washer. Grease. New Zerg fittings. Grease. Lots of grease. And as you can see, we good.